here I will be doing some demonstrations for um, plyometric training for um, a water polo team. So first I'm going to go ahead and get into the um, overhead shoulder plyometrics. Um, unfortunately I do not have a medicine ball so we were just going to have to imagine. So first we have the two hand overhead throw so what you're going to do um, depending on your level of strength and um, ability, you can either use a um, five pound medicine ball or a 10 pound. Um, a five pound might be a little easier for um, the less strength gifted. So what you're gonna do is you and your partner, you are gonna have the medicine ball and it's overhead. So you are going to go over your head and throw. Your partner's gonna catch and then they're gonna throw to you, you're gonna catch. So next we have a two hand side to side throw. So here again, you're gonna use medicine ball and just like it says side to side, you will be taking the medicine ball here and throwing, catching, and you also go to the other side and you will then throw to your partner. Next we have single arm throw. So for this one, um, you and your partner are gonna be 10 feet away from each other. If you are gonna want to use a um, lighter ball. Um, so what you're gonna do is you are gonna stand, you're gonna be stationary. So we are not gonna take a step. We are just gonna stay still, um, feet short with apart, 10 feet away from your partner. And you're gonna have the ball. You are going to cock back in your counter movement. And then you're going to throw. Um, so you will do uh, multiple reps on with one arm and then switch to the other. Next, we have a depth push-up. So this one's gonna be a little um, complex to explain since I do not have a medicine ball, um, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use medicine ball. You're gonna go down in a push-up position. You're gonna be on top of the medicine ball like this. So um, here's what you're gonna look like, but just imagine that I am using a ball. Down like this but on a ball. So here you are going to quickly remove your hands from the ball to the ground. You're gonna go down the chest, lightly touching the ball, and then you are going to shoot yourself back up on top of the medicine ball. So the movement is gonna look semi like this. You would then quickly off ball down and then quickly shoot yourself back up onto the ball. Next, we are going to move in to the um, lower body plyometrics. Sorry. So first I have um, written down the single leg ankle hop. So on this one, you can use um, your arms, or you don't have to, if you don't choose to use your arms to help you, this will make the um, motion a little more difficult since you do use your arms to help you jump. So a single leg, you are gonna be on one leg. This will also help with balance. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate using arms and not using arms. So here, Slight bend in the knee, since this is focusing on the ankle. Slight bend in the knee, and then we're gonna hop. So there's no arms. And then with your arm, hop. And you will just do repetitive jumps like this while maintaining balance. And you wanna make sure that we are not, just like I did, you want to minimize the um, lateral movement and forward movement while you're hopping. Uh, moving on into the squat jump. For this particular squat jump, you will not be using your arms. You will have your um, arms, your fingers will be interlocked and they'll be behind your head. So um, we're gonna go down and then up, down, up, down, up, just like that. From the side, we're gonna go down. And um, when you're landing, you want to make sure that you're coming back down into your starting position so that you do not injure your knees, 
hyperextend and walk. That is not good. Next, we're gonna move into a split squat jump. So um, here you can use your arms, don't have to. So split squat legs are gonna be kind of like a lunge, but we're not lunging, we're jumping. So um, for this split squat, you're gonna go down, up, back down <laughs> into your position. And we're just gonna keep going like that. You can also do it continuously. So alternating, so it will look like this. Down, I like to have my opposite um, arm up with your opposite leg. So then we're gonna switch, switch, switch. And from the side, that will look like this. When you're doing that, you wanna make sure you're going down into the split squat. That'll give you the most benefits in your legs. And last but not least, we have the um, standing long jump. All right, so um, I'll do one from the front and then one from the side view. You are going to use your arms as a counter movement. Um, what you're gonna do is A giant bird just took a um, small animal. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to be standing still. Arms are going to go back. This is your counter movement. So we're going to bend and we're going to jump as far as you can forward. And then you're just going to keep completing this movement all the way down to your finish. From this side, it will look like this. Um, arms up, arms back, and jump. 